hey, it's me. So, you guys know I like to paint things. Or maybe you don't, maybe you're new, if you're new. Hi, my name's Mariah. I look like I'm 15, but I just turned 25, and I like to paint on things. Now you're caught up. So I'm gonna be painting something a little bit different than the normal something that I would normally paint. Not the most efficient way of saying that, but you know what I mean. I'm painting the jacket, okay? I could have just said that. It smells weird. I haven't washed it yet. Maybe I should have. There's no time. I got this jacket online. I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. It was the cheapest denim jacket that I could find that wasn't absolutely hideous. So that's why I chose it. So it's not like super nice quality or anything, but it's decent and it'll work as my canvas for today. So are you ready? Let's do it. Hey, it's me, but in voiceover mode now. <laughs> So, step one, put jacket on table. Basically takes up my entire work surface. I'm gonna be using my matte fabric paint. Don't ask me why the yellow one is so much bigger than the other colors. It just is, okay? So now I'm just warming up here. Super necessary, definitely not just uh, procrastinating. Painting for real now. And I'm just gonna start by painting the entire back panel of the jacket, which was pretty time consuming, actually. The paint doesn't really go that far. It kind of just got sucked up up by the material so this took a lot of paint and patience patience <laughs> no i debated about leaving the edges kind of rough i don't know why i have to add a barking sound every time i say the word rough oh my gosh instead of leaving rough edges i brought the paint all the way to the seams and created more of a clean line now i did have to custom mix this color um but clearly didn't mix it enough Shh, it's fine it's fine just keep going and we are enjoying some extreme close-ups here <laughs> A little early in the video to bring in that song already, but what the heck. So once I filled that whole back area of the jacket and left it to dry completely, sort of, I'm gonna start sketching out my design. So I've never painted on clothing before, so I figured, you know, let, let's maybe do something that I'm pretty familiar with. I, I don't wanna hurt myself here by trying too many new things at once. I'm very sensitive. So I'm painting a cupcake. That's right, another cupcake. So here I go, starting to fill this in. I wanted to do a semi-realistic painting on here. I had no idea how difficult this was gonna be. Usually I use fabric paint for like quite cartoony designs, but never something like this where it's an actual painting and there's like a lot of layering and detail. To be honest though, it was a lot easier than I anticipated. Once I had that first layer of pink covering the fabric, the paint wasn't sinking into it anymore, so it was spreading much easier. It is just good. Good, you know, fabric paint work good. So if you didn't know, this big brown smudge in the center of my cupcake, it's supposed to be a a, a bite mark. Why did I need to add a bite mark to my cupcake? Well, you know, it's simple. I see a big, gorgeous cupcake. It's not exactly gorgeous right now. Ah! I want to bite it. If I paint the bite in there, I can get that satisfaction in a way. My eyeballs get to bite it. I'm gonna go with that. If you're thinking about trying this yourself, for something like this, you absolutely need a brush on fabric paint, not a puffy paint. Puffy paint is great, don't get me wrong, and you can decorate clothing with it, but if you try something like this, using a brush and doing an actual painting, you will hate yourself. The bite mark did give me a little trouble. The problem was that I was kind of making it up. I didn't have a reference or anything. I couldn't find a photo of a a really nice bite mark in a cupcake. Turns out it's just not something that normal people feel the need to document. Why? Generally, if you want to make something look realistic, you need to be working from a reference, you know, a photo or actually looking at the thing in front of you. Once upon a time, I took a drawing class. We were only allowed to use charcoal and only allowed to create realistic self-portraits. No, no rainbow, no, no cupcakes, no calves with ice cream on their head. I was terrible at it and it sucked the soul out of me. It was like some sort of twisted art prison. I just need one rainbow. 
just just one please no i actually learned a lot and it was very helpful and i don't regret it and yada 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 one of the classes i remember this one girl brought in a drawing and she hadn't used a reference for it she got roasted so yes long story short it's very frowned upon to make realistic type art without a reference but i'm here and i'm going for it i make my own way my own rules my own jacket and if i want to create a janky bite mark without a reference then gosh darn it i'm gonna do it this is my very lame form of rebellion i'm gonna interrupt for a quick second because i have something really exciting to share with you guys what was my voice just now i've been working on this behind the scenes for quite some time dun 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 dun, dun. it's pickle the freaking dinosaur oh Come here, my child. Look at this. Oh, it's so cute. He's so soft. We have a Pickle the Dinosaur plush available on my store. The link, of course, will be in the description and in the iCards above. You guys know that I love plushies. I have many of them. I'm a collector. Who doesn't love a good plush? You know you do. Marlo. She fell down. You will get one Pickle the Dinosaur plush in your order as well as custom packaging. She's breaking out of the bag. <gasps> I designed that. And this cuteness right here. It's just a little certificate of adoption because Pickle is special and he deserves it. It's just for the adorable factor. Don't look at me, look at the camera. There is a limited quantity available for these. We only have so many made. Once those sell, they are gonna be out of stock. So I have no idea if we'll be reordering more or when that would be. If you desperately need a Pickle the Dinosaur in your life, you probably wanna order soon because I cannot guarantee how long they will be there. I'm just so excited to put this on my shelf and display him proudly because he's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about Pickle now and let's get back to the video. I mean, I'm still in the video but the main video okay bye so now moving from the cupcake to the frosting and I'm going for white frosting I used a lot of gray for the shading so right now I'm just kind of blocking it in I'm having so many flashbacks from that art class that professor used to yell block it in I'm getting the general shapes in there and then after those are all in place then I'm going in with the details and let me just say I thoroughly enjoyed this experience it's not that often that I paint like this on such a large flat surface. I'm usually painting a squishy or painting something 3D like a thrift store find. So this was fun. I, I felt like an actual artist painting on a canvas. I'm actually doing it. I'm an artist. And then I realized I'm painting a giant cupcake on a jean jacket. Sit back down. <laughs> I am very proud of the teeth marks in the frosting because again, I had no reference for this. So considering that I just made that up, looks pretty legit. That's a good job pulling that out of my butt. I painted about 80% of this in complete silence. Imagine that. I almost always have some sort of TV show or audiobook to listen to while I'm working. But here's another long, pointless story for you. I use a cord that goes from my camera to my laptop. Oops, that's a spoiler. Don't look at that. This way, I get a preview on my laptop of what the camera is seeing. But this particular day, my cord just decided, nah, I don't want this job anymore. I quit. I had to connect the camera to my laptop through Wi-Fi, and you can't can't connect to the internet and the camera at the same time, so I had no internet, therefore, silence. But it was actually kind of nice. I felt oddly relaxed while painting this. It was like therapeutic or something, I don't know. But I got a new cord the next day, so I'll probably never do that again. I think if I had to paint in silence all the time, I would probably go insane. I'm insane! About this enormous gouge that's in the frosting, that's just the place for a massive cherry. I don't know why I insist on making cherries the size of beach balls. But, you know, there it is. I did it again. And I'm gonna bring some of that frosting over top of the cherry. You're gonna wanna wait for that red paint to dry, though. While that's drying, I'm gonna go back over the icing. It's looking a little dull, so I just wanna brighten it up in some areas a little bit. Okay, that's dry now, so we can go back and paint over it. Get that cherry nice and nestled in there. It almost looks like an apple. It's an apple cherry, like a grape tomato, but instead an apple cherry, you know? No. 
Okay, now I'm gonna add some sprinkles onto the icing because of course, why would I not? It was just asking for it, so you know what's coming. Finally finishing off that front frosting, adding more sprinkles, adding some shadows to my apple cherry, adding more sprinkles. I love them, but these sprinkles took forever. I had to paint the sprinkles and then paint a shadow under each sprinkle and then paint a shadow on each sprinkle. It took way longer than I care to admit. Finally going around and adding some little finishing touches. Mainly I'm just adding the very dark shadows at this point. Um, usually save the black for last because it's very harsh and very hard to go over top of so you just want to bring that in at the very end I also added two little sprinkles in the cake they must have fallen down when the cupcake was being bitten this is how we tell the story with our art so now I'm just gonna go around and paint the pink background color around the edge to clean it up whoever bit this cupcake has got a whack set of teeth they've got like perfectly straight normal top teeth but then monstrous bottom teeth you may want to get that checked out and I'm noticing that this cupcake is um quite tall usually I make the frosting way too tall so this time before I started I was like okay I'm not gonna make the frosting too tall but then instead I just made the cupcake too tall <laughs> Why am I always sneezing while painting? What's wrong with me? I also added some bright white highlights to the cherry and to the sprinkles. Okay, and now that's officially done. For the rest of the jacket, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. I decided to paint these seams with all different colors. Kind of regret painting this one orange right across the back. It reminds me of like a construction vest or something. I never intended to cover the entire jacket with paint. I still want a lot of denim to be visible because I want it to still look like a jean jacket. So I figured painting these seams would be a nice way to make the rest of the jacket fun and colorful but also not take over too much area. This was kind of nerve wracking because if you make a mistake and you get paint on the jacket where it shouldn't be, which I did several times, there's really no way to undo it. It's really permanent on fabric. <gasps> That could have been really bad. Luckily, it was in an area that's gonna get painted over anyway. So that takes care of the back. Now, how about the front? I didn't really paint the colors in any particular order. I thought about trying to put the colors in rainbow order, but it's really not like linear enough to do that because there are just seams going in different directions and pockets and up, down, across, over. Blah, blah, blah. So I just kind of painted the colors wherever. I kind of decided that I was just going to like embrace the painted denim look, you know, not too crisp. You can still kind of see the denim behind the paint in certain areas. I feel like it's kind of a cool look. At least that's what I'm telling myself. Once the paint had completely dried, I of course went back and fastened all the buttons. And then I'm gonna add these gorgeous enamel pins. Do these designs look familiar? So yes, these are brand new enamel pins that are now available on my shop. I know, new products galore. I am gonna sign my artwork with my signature. Are you ready for this? Oh geez, I don't think I'm ready for this. So clearly, I have no idea how to model at all. Apparently, I can't even manage to put the freaking thing on. This is me searching for the armhole. Okay, there's that. What is that? Nope, okay, I'm dancing now. I'm dancing, and here's the mandatory fake laughter shot. What the heck are they laughing at? Nobody knows, not even they know. Okay, I'm getting into it now. Maybe a little too much, and I'm spinning slightly dizzy now. Opie has arrived. Let's get him. Forcing Opie to dance with me, having a great time. The longer this goes on, the stranger it gets. I'm starting to lose it. I started doing weird crap like this. Like what? <laughs> 
I'm exhausting myself. I wanted to show the back of the jacket, but every time I turned around, I felt like everyone's just staring at my butt and I don't know how to feel about it. So then here's my solution for that. That looks super cute, just really flattering. No, it's not cute. And neither is this. I'm really trying here. I gotta give myself credit for that. But uh, I don't see a modeling career in my future. Woo. Okay, made it through that train wreck. So here's the jacket off of my being, thank God. I am actually super happy with this. It's weird and unusual to see this on a jacket, but that's kind of why I like it. I relate to unusual. Usually I'm like kind of obsessed with everything being perfectly neat, but the messy paint look is kind of dope. And I'm really proud of how this cupcake painting came out. It may not be perfect, but hey, I didn't even know that fabric paint could do this. So so I'm pleasantly surprised. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make this. And if you paint a jacket yourself, make sure to tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see what you do. So that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next Friday. Bye.